this is Cherish with Off With The Grid and today I wanted to give you guys a tour of the inside of our pole barn. Here, you want to show them what you made? So what do you have there? That's a rocking horse? Mm -hmm. That's and beautiful. It's a That's awesome. Okay, well let's get to showing them the inside of our pool barn, okay? So inside our shop, we have a 1,500 gallon water tank. In previous videos, uh, you would have seen it outside. We actually brought it in and now we have it all indoors so that it doesn't freeze um, and all of our utilities are inside so our water pump's right next to it. Um, over here, we've got our water pump and we're actually working. So we are working on all of our wiring. Don't freak out. I know there's cords everywhere. We're just testing things out right now and we've had some issues. So we've got lots of wiring issues going on. We've got to get it all set up. We're going to get it mounted onto the wall. Right now it's working, but it definitely needs to be improved for safety purposes. There's our water tank. It's really hard to get our water tank completely filled up. It holds 1,500 gallons, um, but our truck's only able to haul 200 gallons at a time. And between doing wash, uh, dishes, laundry, wa bathing ourselves, um, giving water to the chickens and all the other animals that we have, it just goes really quick. Um, Ryan normally gets the water when he has work days, and some days it just doesn't work out. He's working nights right now, and so it's just a little bit harder to um, stay on top of our water and so we're constantly just trying to play catch up but it works so shoe rack and then right by our water tank we keep our seed that's soaking so here's our seed and we just have it soaking I don't know if you can really see that too well it's kind of dark um, so our lighting situation here right now, um, we do have some wiring up, but we haven't finished all of the paneling inside, uh, the metal sheets inside. Um, part of the reason is because we want to finish the electrical wiring and we just ran out of time in all honesty. And so we haven't gotten to that because it hasn't been a priority. And so um, we have one LED shop light that we use. It gives us enough light. Um, we've gotten used to living with less light than what we were used to when we were on the grid. Um, but as you can see, this is our shop light right here. And so we'll just point that in the direction that we need it pointed. Um, if we're going to be over at the table, then we'll have it shining on us more towards the table or um, up if we just need it to kind of bounce off of the ceiling. And it works. So on this side of the shop, we've got all of our tools. We have our tool chest, which is actually Levi's tool chest. Um, well, part of it is his tool chest, and then uh, we are just using it temporarily until we get out of here and we can actually get a larger tool chest. Um, but it works with all of the tools that we need for right now. Um, and then we have this shelving unit that has all of our bigger tools, our hardware, um, cord, electrical cords, anything like that. Um, we try to keep all of our tools on this side and some stuff is actually stored underneath the trailer. Um, but with living in a shop, it, it's nice to be able to compartmentalize everything. So this side is our tool and our hardware side. So over here, we actually have um, some of our seasonal storage. We've got our helmets, kids' backpacks, their bike helmets. It kind of gets messed up, as you can see. Um, the kids don't always put things away properly. But we've got all of our winter clothes in here now. And so this side's Levi's, that side's Ollie's. And then these are shared winter gloves. Um, and then Thea 
has a few extra jackets so she actually gets a drawer all to herself um, and then we've got all of her winter accessories she tends to play dress up so they aren't all in here right now and then the other side is just Ryan's um, extra stuff for work So while I was editing this video, I realized that my sound wasn't working when I showed you guys our compost toilet spot with our shavings and everything. So I wanted to show you guys that again, but it's getting dark in here, so I'm gonna use a headlamp. Hopefully there's enough light from that. Um, if not, I will go ahead and wait until tomorrow and I will film a little bit more before I get this video up. So we have our two propane tanks here that are connected to the trailer. Okay, so over here we've got our buckets for our compost toilet. We actually have like 40 buckets, so we don't have to clean them. It's a lot bigger task to have to clean that many at a time, but it just makes it so we don't have to clean them every couple weeks. Um, we actually get through it about every two to three months, depending upon uh, how many people are visiting. We have our lids, and then this box has our newspapers that are folded up. And we'll just take this trash can every few weeks and fill it up for free. Okay, so on this side, we actually have basically all of our kids' stuff and on this storage unit. And then over here, we've got a lot of food storage um, and overstock. If you notice, um, the trays on the top, the pink and blue trays, we actually are, we normally will sprout seeds. Um, our chickens are fed a, a seed mix that we mix ourselves and um, we normally sprout it out in the garden where the chickens are or out in the chicken yard and with it being winter right now it just doesn't grow we don't have enough carbon material we don't have enough covering to keep it from freezing and so um, we have been experimenting with doing fodder it's been a ton of work I don't really think I like doing it but I'm trying to just stick it out to kind of get a feel and give them some more sprouted grains help our feed to go a little bit further um, than what it would do just soaking the seed and giving the seeds that way so so I ended up having to stop filming because the kids needed me and so it's now really late at night and I just wanted to finish giving you guys a tour of our place before it got destroyed from the kids generally it doesn't stay as neat and tidy as it is now just because we live and work and are constantly moving stuff in based on the season if it's rainy outside then we're having to do projects inside um, because it's a dual purpose it's our home and it's our garage or our shop um, it just gets a little bit dirtier I also let the kids have a lot of freedom on their arts and crafts and different projects and so we generally have just a lot of stuff going on um, but this is my goal to keep it this picked up um, and so I want to show you the rest of it and then we'll see inside of our trailer so you can kind of see how we set it up um, and if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to be able to talk to you, um, especially if you're thinking about doing this for yourself and your family. Um, the last two years have been quite an adventure and we've really enjoyed it. And there's definitely some things that we've learned um, as far as organization goes and living inside of a shop with our trailer inside. Um, so I'd love to help you guys out on this journey as well. So you can see over here we've got some of our books, most of it um, either books that we're reading with the kids or schoolwork. Um, I'm trying to keep the cats off of some little seedlings right now at night so that's what's under the plastic. Um, in this Husky toolbox we've got Legos. This is really Ollie's favorite spot. And they organized it by color scheme for the most part. So much easier to find pieces, even with lots of those black, white, and gray pieces. Here's like car accessories, boats, different automobiles, and the like. So one of the things that we thought was important was to give our kids their own space. Um, they do have a specific play area where just about all of their toys are. I have extra toys on the shelves that I'll interchange out a little bit. Um, most of the time they just grab from those boxes also and so it's just extra storage. Um, but over here we've got our kids kitchen, a lot of creative play. Um, and Thea has her little dress up area on the door. 
They each have their own shelf that they get to put on there, whatever they want. Then we have connects, all somewhat organized over here. After two years, we still love this composting toilet. We use family cloth now, so we have a clean bin and a dirty bin. So for the last two years, our sleeping situation has been a little wonky. It's worked out well. Uh, for us, we love to co-sleep with our kids, and so um, with the way the bedding is, we kind of just interchange and move around a lot, um, but we've got a bed up here. Sometimes the kids all sleep up there, sometimes a parent and kids, sometimes uh, both Ryan and I will sleep up there. It just really depends upon the night. Um, and this bed actually drops down to level with where those plastic drawers are. That's all of our clothes storage uh, for the whole family. And then um, we've got a couch that turns into a bed right here. And so that folds out, it has some extra padding. Definitely not the most comfortable beds, but for two years we've dealt with it and it will be fine until we end up getting a house. And so um, we'll open that up and we'll have bed there and the bigger bed up top and it works. Now one of the things that I needed was I needed extra counter space and food storage. I still definitely don't have enough um, but you can see here, I've been able to use these drawers and organize them enough that I have quite a bit of storage in here. Um, so most of our dishes are in here. We don't use paper goods unless it's a special occasion that we need to. And I do use paper towels, um, but I use them extremely frugally because um, just sometimes when you're dealing with oil and different messes, it's just a lot easier to be able to have those or even, heaven forbid, the dog has an accident. Um, we have a German short-haired pointer and we love him, but he has an amazingly sensitive digestive system and so even if we give him a half a cup extra food than he normally gets, he ends up having diarrhea and it's just a huge mess. So I'd much rather use paper towels than I would use... Um, and have to wash more cloth. Um, we already use family cloth for us, so we save a lot in money um, and waste with being able to use the family cloth for our own needs. So that's a tour of our place, and we have been really happy here. Um, our trailer is, I believe, 21 feet long, seven feet wide, and then we've got the 30 by 30 garage that the trailer's sitting inside of. Um, we definitely have a lot of plans for a future home, um, but we don't really want it to be any bigger than what we're in now. It just will be organized differently, um, and it won't be work combined with living space. Um, that's the biggest thing, and the biggest challenge that we've had is just trying to utilize the space for both our living space and our workspace. Um, but it's definitely been doable, and we've enjoyed it, and we've enjoyed this adventure. It's allowed us to be able to do a lot more projects outside compared to if we would have been focusing on building a house initially. Um, and it's definitely comfortable. The fire it keeps us nice and toasty. We actually, unless it gets down into the negatives at night, we aren't running our wood stove at night because with having the extra insulation of the trailer, we actually get so hot in here that we roast almost all night. And so we turn it we let it die out um, in the wood stove 
around six or seven at night and we're perfect as long as we aren't doing a lot of cooking and then it has to actually get turned off a lot sooner than that. Um, but this is our place. We hope you've enjoyed seeing it. If you have any questions again, please leave them in the comments below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. We definitely have a lot of videos in store for you guys. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get them out on a regular basis because we're trying to live our life and build this homestead and uh, raise our children and spend as much time with them as possible. So it's just a lot of juggling um, and a lot of demand. But we look forward to seeing you guys and sharing more of our adventure with you. And we hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Okay. Okay, really quick. Woohoo! Fierce spinning.